Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here, live from Weather Trends 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is the 14th of October, hard to believe, mid-month, uh, actually Columbus Day for those, some of you that are off today. Obviously, we had a big snowstorm go through the northern Rockies here, northern plains, and uh, this is a season-to-date snowfall. So we've had two events there in Montana, and this, this big one now that went through the Dakotas with over two feet of snow uh, up in North Dakota. Um, this has the snowfall index for the nation as a whole. Bottom chart left there is... Uh, Snowy start in 10 years, uh, way above average here for the for the nation as a whole. So again, very snowy there. Uh, if we look at the snow cover here this morning, that snow is going to probably melt pretty quickly here, even though it's a couple feet at a uh, few days of uh, sun still moderately high sun angle. Uh, map on the left shows snowfall snow cover actually last year 8.3 percent of the country, and the map on the right is a uh, snow cover this year 8.6 percent. So it's kind of in that same general area, um, not as snowy and across Canada as uh, as was last year. So again, uh, a snowy start, certainly to say the least, uh, most in 10 years with 8.6% uh, coverage, not as much as that back in 2009 when 20% of the country was uh, covered in snow. But again, above average nonetheless. If we look at these uh, last week trends real quick, uh, we're just going to recap this for some of our retail folks. Uh, last week, 6 through 12 October versus last year. So this is year over year temperature changes uh, for this past week. Um, so in the east, it was actually colder, much colder than this time last year. And up in the plains, where they had that big blizzard, um, again, it was actually warmer. And that's not all that unusual that you can be warmer with a, a big snowstorm, uh, but warmer year on year. Net-net, U.S. was still 1.2 degrees colder than last year and below average for the nation as a whole. Europe's been pretty cold as well, uh, minus 3.5 degrees colder than last year, below average. And then over in China, 4.4 degrees warmer than last year for this last week, um, and again, about average there. So what we like to do is quantify this for our retail customers here and uh, call this the power of one degree, our technology that actually quantifies seasonal sales trends uh, a year ahead by week, every store on earth. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what we do. Um, so this shows, let's, last week we picked on coats. Uh, today we'll pick on more of the fall fleece type items, things that we're inclined to buy this time of year. Every one degree colder, there's about a 3% increase in hoodies and jacket sales. Um, so if we quantify that with the chart bottom left here, these are the year-over-year -year trends. Again, so we see that last week here was pretty cold across the U.S. Um, had a positive influence on uh, seasonal merchandise sales. And then the uh, outlook here for the next couple of weeks is at least on a year-on-year -year basis, it's actually uh, warmer to quite a bit warmer than a year ago. Um, not to say there won't be cold periods here, but it's just not as, war not as cold as it was last year, really cold and snowy last year. And then we do see some uptick as we get later toward uh, Halloween. So let's just key in on that period here. And again, so we're looking at anywhere from 2 to maybe 9 degrees warmer for this period here, the next two weeks ahead, uh, than last year. Uh, and then if we look at those bottom sales numbers, quantifying that 3% 3 per degree warmer or colder, and obviously we have a lot of downward trends here. So a good week last week for, for some of these fleece apparel type items, and then a, kind of a soft stretch here for a couple weeks, and then we think it picks up again here as we get into uh, late October, uh, probably another cold blast late October, early November, so an uptick. So a couple week here, uh, downward trend for our uh, retail clients. We look at the um, this week here for the country's all. Now this is 14 through 20 October. Uh, mean temperatures versus average on the right, and uh, rain, weekly rainfall totals on the left. Um, Overall, this week looks to trend about 4.3 degrees warmer than last year, 11th warmest in 30 years above average. Um, so that map uh, bottom left down there is uh, the t trends year over year. So southeast is cooler than last year, but still quite a bit above average. Um, the west coast is actually cooler than average and cooler than last year. So that's a positive area for uh, retail seasonal sales. Wettest in five years, 11th wettest in 30 years, making above average rainfall. Snowfall less than last year, and it's about average here. I do have some more snow potential in the Rocky Mountains. Looking at next week, the, the last full week of October, 21 through 27 October. Uh, again, see a bit of a cold blast starting to materialize in the central U.S. Uh, that'll eventually make it east as we get in toward the, the last week around Halloween. Uh, but again, for next week, it looks like uh, warm along the east coast, warm along the west coast, and cold in the middle. And the bottom map there again shows that trend year over year. So warmer than average on the East Coast and also much more, much, much warmer than uh, last year uh, as well. So uh, precip map on the left there, what is in four years, fifth what is in 30 years above average rainfall again. And snowfall probably more than last year, but uh, maybe a little below average here. Um, not looking for anything too dramatic here um, as we get into that next week period. Looking at the world temperature aggregate overall here, 14 through 27 October. Again, this is... Uh, High temperatures versus average. Again, seasonably cool in the heartland of the country and uh, warm on the coasts. Uh, Europe looks to be uh, quite a bit above average, especially more toward Eastern Europe. Um, little map bottom left there, again, temperature trends versus last year. So again, retailers like to look at that view year on year. If we um, 
look at snowfall here over the next uh, two weeks again you see adding some snowpack into the parts of north america uh, here over the next two weeks uh, not as much as we had this past week um, adding some in russia and siberia again they are trending colder and wetter and snowier uh, up there and one thing you'd like to look at for the winter seasonal outlook is looking at how much snowfall falls in siberia uh, early snowpack is certainly a plus um, the other thing that's actually a plus this year is this volcano that blew up in uh, Russia back in June. Um, this pumped a lot of SO2 up into the upper atmosphere, and what it's been doing is uh, creating uh, not only some beautiful sunsets, but uh, also it's kind of a reflective um, mechanism of uh, blocking sunlight reaching the surface of the Earth. So this can be one contributing factor. Um, wasn't a super huge volcano, but again, certainly pumped enough SO2 that we're seeing uh, seeing some of the results. You'll see kind of these purpley hues uh, at sunset, and that's just, uh, again, the uh, the red light being scattered with and then the SO2 scatters the blue light and you get kind of this purple purple uh, color um, at sunset um, not as visible uh, again we've had some beautiful sunsets uh, here um, across Weather Trends 360 here in Bethlehem Pennsylvania um, took off here out of New York City and again you couldn't see the purples but uh, again a gorgeous sunrise to say the least here uh, so with that folks uh, we hope you have a great week and we will be back here this time next week